Good morning and welcome. Uh, it is truly our pleasure to have you here today as we move into celebrating the life of Diane and um, what a blessing it is to have family and friends here uh, just coming together. And I'd like to open us in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the opportunity to come together as friends and family um, as we grieve the loss of your beautiful child, Diane. God, uh, we, we give this time to you. We give this day to you. Let us move into celebration and, um, and loving memories and uh, remembering the beauty of life uh, that you had given Diane. And while you have called her home, Lord, uh, let us seek peace and comfort and joy and this be part of the process of healing. It's in your wonderful and holy name. Amen. Friends, we're going to begin with the song of worship. In moments like these and these situations, it's important that we come together as friends and family and that we take the time to um, acknowledge memories and uh, celebrate the life. And so at this moment, I'd like to invite Chris to come up and share. Hello, everybody. Um, you know, Diane was my grandmother, if you didn't know, and she helped raise me. And she was a very kind woman, very, 
uh, stubborn at times, but we loved her. You know, I was super thankful to come up here and help her out in her last few years um, as she helped me out. Me and my sister, when we needed it. Um, you know, she's a good woman. She went the way she wanted to go, and we're going to miss her. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, but we love her and we'll miss her, and I'm super thankful that we got to spend the last couple years with her and be there for her. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day with her for months, and we really got to know her really well. And I'm thankful for that, uh, to know her as a friend instead of just uh, a grandparent. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I'd like to invite Leah up to share. Hello, everybody. For those who don't know me, I'm Diane's granddaughter, Chris's sister. Um, as he was saying, she raised us for a little while, and I'm grateful for that. She met us her little slaves around the house. We had to have a stool to do the dishes, and we fed the horses, and she gave us a really good work ethic, so I'm really grateful for that and what she provided for us when we were kids. The horses and all that good experience kind of set some good stuff in me and my brother. I didn't talk to her as much in her older days, and I kind of regret it. She called me a lot when I was pregnant with the new one, constantly asking me what his name was again because she couldn't remember. Um, I wish I got to visit her a little bit more, but she lived kind of far. So I'm thankful for all the phone calls that she did give us, and she was a great woman. So I'm just thankful for her. I wish I could have spoke to her a little sooner. I did talk to her four days before she had passed suddenly. She she gave me, um, Autumn, and Rory a new quilt that Mary had made, so thank you for making those, Mary, um, and I'll definitely cherish those. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Right now, uh, we would like to open the floor to friends and family. If you'd like to come up and share some memories or a message or just some thoughts, you're welcome to. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Diane's daughter. I'm the youngest honorary one, mother to the, the Christopher and Leah. Mom was an awesome person. She had her ways. She was the only proper one that we had in the whole family. <laughs> but she put up with all our enduring our rebelness and everything else. She was a very good-hearted woman. She loved animals. She loved the country. She was very giving. And she was very, very stubborn. That's the only way that blended in with the rest of us was her stubbornness. But that's what helped her put up with us. Anyway, that's all I got to say for now. I'm grateful for a lot. Would anyone else like to share? everybody doing today so I look out here and I see family and friends a couple of unfamiliar faces maybe I don't remember y'all but I do appreciate y'all coming it means a lot we're all here because we love my mom she was a great woman I didn't always get along with her but she was my mom so that's all I got to say thank you I 
believe we have one more. I'll bring the mic out to you, Ali. Thank you. My name's Allie, and uh, Diane and I spent most of the last 10 or 15 years together talking about animals in my family and her family. So I know a lot about a lot of you people. <laughs> but I'm not telling. <laughs> now she, now, the, main, the main thing Diane said about you was how much she loved you. She didn't mind that you had your quirks and foibles because she said, well, maybe she did too. She loved you all dearly. She was so proud of all her grandchildren and great-grandchildren and her children. She talked about them. If I ever dared to say something that she didn't agree with, she'd let me know. You know, I, I, that was off territory. And, but we mostly, we, we spent a lot of time with animals. I, I foster cats and I have spent most of the last 15 years running out and finding them and bringing them home. And she would be ready to go on a cat run with me. I'd call her up, Diane, she said, cat run? Yes, let's go. And off we'd go. And we went all over uh, most northern Arizona up into Chino and all, all different places finding cats. and. Um, kittens and bringing them home and she would go to the vet with me and name them and and it was a wonderful wonderful experience to be able to share that with her and of course she loved the animals and she loved her Katie and she loved her dog and uh, she just was full of love you know everybody mentions how stubborn and all that and she was we went round and round a few times, but she was so full of love for the whole world. And I, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to meet her and to know her and to spend time with her and to be her friend. And I miss her, like, really badly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you for everyone that shared. Um, now we're gonna take a few moments to just reflect and watch a video uh, of some photos and some songs for Diane's life. I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck, a hug around the neck, and a barrel and a heap, a barrel and a heap, Talking in my sleep about you, about you. Cause I love you, a bushel and a peck. You bet your pretty neck I do. A bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, though you make my heart a wreck, make my heart a wreck, and you make my life a mess, make my life a mess, yes, a mess of happiness about you, about you, cause I love you, a bushel and a peck, you bet your pretty neck I do.
a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and it beats me all to heck, it beats me all to heck, how I'll ever tend the farm, ever tend the farm, when I want to keep my arm about you, about you, cause I love you, a bushel and a peck, you bet your pretty neck I do. Apostle Paul gives the Philippians a way to seek the Lord in times of darkness. Instead of falling to darkness of this world, we are called to feed our mind with good things, positive things, godly things. 
Think about Christ himself. Be present with God in this moment. Philippians 4, 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. He continues, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, we see this in Diane and her loving heart, the care that she had for animals or family and friends, whatever is noble. She stepped up and went above and beyond to raise her grandchildren. Whatever is right, friendly adventures on cat rescue and, and other noble deeds and to spread love and care. Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, we often talk about how our friendships become so close that they become family, but we don't often recognize the beauty in family that transcends a relationship into friendship. And with someone like your grandmother is a beautiful experience and a wonderful opportunity to embrace. Whatever is admirable, and may I be so dare to say that stubbornness while we may say it can be frustrating, but it is often something to admire. Someone with conviction and truth in their heart and strength. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, we see this in the beautiful smile that Diane had in so many photos where we can see joy just radiate from her. Think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, says Paul, put into practice. We see this with Diane. She put this, these things into practice, and we can see this in her legacy, and we want to carry this message on and carry this truth on and this opportunity. We remember these things about her, while we miss her, we know that her legacy will carry on through her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, her friends, her loved ones, anyone that was able to encounter her and embrace her. And the peace of God will be with you. We're going to move to our final worship song. my soul it is 
is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear. My soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, and Lord, haste the day. When my faith shall be sighed, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll, the trump shall resound. With my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, there are hurting hearts and loss, um, grieving for Diane. God, we come before you humbly uh, to see your peace and your joy. And as the Apostle Paul said, Lord, let us remember to focus on um, what is true, what is noble, what is right, lovely, pure, admirable. God, as we see an excellent and praiseworthy life in Diane, is why we know that she is with you and that she will forever remain in our hearts, in our minds, with fond memory and love. And let us hold on to these truths. It's in your wonderful and holy name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today as we continue the process of grieving a loved one. Um, be encouraged to move forward as we seek to choose joy and love and peace, and we see that in the life of Diane, a life well lived, a good and faithful servant, and that we can move forward with grace and love and cherish the memories and legacy that she left behind.